Hello guys and welcome back in this request video. This is a cool requested video by this cool fan on my snapchat. His name is Elvin Perry. He wants a, he wants a 7A, 7A F, FE engine from Toyota. It's a cool engine and uh, I, I've actually searched it and I found out cool stuff about it. It's a, uh, you know, it's a cool engine from the 7A, from the A family. You know, the 4A, 5A, 7A, 6A, all these cool legendary engines. Um, it started it started live actually in, in 1990 after 2002. It's a cool engine and I mean I'm impressed actually because it, it, it looks and I've seen videos and it sounded awesome actually in some cool cars like the Corolla. Um, let's see, it's I've already started with but the game crashed, so I tried again to make it. Uh, it's an inline 4 cast iron block with 81 mm for the bore, 85.5 mm for the stroke. So, yes, it's a stroke engine, it's, uh, it goes at 1762 cc, which is correctly. Um, door overhead camshaft, 4 valves per cylinder, aluminium head material, no VVL, cast. Yes, and the request is, before I continue here, the request is Mr. Elvin, he wants this engine to be a turbocharged engine and uh, can rev up to 9000 or 8500 RPM. Because this engine can only rev up to 6000 RPM using cast internals. That's what the original engine do, and it, the original engine can is capable of only 115 horsepower and 100 and I think 40, 140 pound feet of torque. No, it's 100 and 115 horsepower. Okay, and it's 115 pound feet of torque as well. And, and in some markets, some markets, 105 on the horsepower and 117 pound feet of torque. It's according to the market, you know, because Toyota sold this engine in North America in Japan and Australia so each market according to the emissions regulations the power output has changed okay so since we are since you are pushing this beast this little beast to the max yeah let's use billet steel titanium internals titanium connecting rods and lightweight forged pistons actually not always you're not always in the, in the need of putting titanium connecting rods, you can use lightweight forged if you want. They will work perfectly. Let's start with plus ten and see if the if these internals can can push up to nine thousand RPM or not. Now the original engine has nine point five to one compression ratio. Okay, let's keep the original compression ratio. Um, let's see, and the cam profile used to be you know regular and you know for, for the good torque for the good low end torque you should put it on like 30 25 this is good for low rpm torque and that's what toyota designed this engine for this is not a performance engine so since we are pushing this beast to the max let's put a racing camshaft in it which is 100 uh, to, also, they did not mention in Wikipedia or any other engine or any other website about a variable valve timing. If it's an intake or all cams or none. So this, since we since we changed the head, head the, the head, what called the cylinder head and the camshafts here. So this is a tuned engine. Let's use variable valve timing. Let's put a variable valve timing kit for all cams. Let's see the quality. Yes, let's go to plus 10. Why not? And yes, this is a turbocharged beast. Beast. This is not a natural aspirated engine in this application. The original engine, yes, it was a, it was a natural aspirated engine. But here, the request is a turbocharged beast. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a performance one, not a racing one. I'm not gonna push it to the max because. I want a good power curve. I will tune the turbocharged size later and let's see. Let's use a multi point fuel injection because that's what the original engine is. Because I, I really love to use direct injection. 
but as we, as we all know using a direct injection you need a different cylinder head because you will be bolting the injectors directly to the cylinder head not on the intake manifold because you want to push fuel into the cylinder itself and but, but multi, multi point fuel injection you will push the fuel into the intake manifold which is fairly normal and you don't need to change the cylinder heads all, you can only change the quality of the injectors the spark plugs the and uh, what, what else the spark plugs coils maybe and the, and the wires and the intake manifold and the throttle bodies these, these are all the stuff that you, cha you are changing quality here for so basically better components and lower octane and better power so multi-point fuel injection uh, the original engine engine used a single single configuration I'm not gonna should we switch to throttle per cylinder because throttle per cylinder is better in every way but I would really love to keep it you know fairly cheap and fairly uh, like the original one so let's see I'm, I'm, I will start with single if the power band is crap I'm gonna move on to per cylinder so 95 octane if not we will use 98 so 13 and a half here let's drop the ignition timing and hope for 8500 as a start and let's see 300 horsepower high flow three way straight through straight through. and plus 10 here again so as you can see so far on three inch exhaust system we are pushing out 221 and the power band actually is cool the boost start up at 3400 3, cool this is the maximum amount of boost here and then no, no, this is not the maximum amount of boost. The boost is starting here, and the torque is cool. The torque is so high here, 170, and we we'll keep going up to 5,800, and then it will start dropping. The power will keep on going. Cool. Okay, so this engine is not been, is not yet fully tuned, and the fuel efficiency is not really impressive. As you can see, we dropped, if we drop the cam camshaft profile, we will gain more power. But okay, we can push it up to 9,000, even 9,500. But no, we have to use lighter like titanium and push it. And now, as you can see. So let's put it on 86 and then start playing with the turbo itself. Okay. So I think we will push the, the engine. PSI is perfect. And now, so three hundred and twenty one horsepower. Okay. Drop the ignition timing, increase the exhaust size, and then push the ignition timing again. 338 up on 9000 RPM. Okay, so I'm gonna use it up to 9000 and go back to lightweight forged because that's cheaper and cool. As you can see, the intake is restricting, a single intake is restricting. So let's push on to first cylinder, and you can see. 343 horsepower 
Wow, from a 1.8 liter engine. That's amazing. Nearly 350 horsepower. Okay, so let's see. Let's push the turbo. Let me push it a little bit more. 350 horsepower. So 350 horsepower, yes, I can accept that. I can really accept that and be okay with it. I'm not sure that we need to push more than this. Look at this beast. Look at it. Wow, absolutely amazing. And it sounds amazing too. So as you can see, uh, to make good power in these engines, it will start very 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 crap. So you have to build, if you are a drag racing fan and you want to drag race this engine, you have to build your rev up to 4500 or 4700 here. Or if you want a good range, you can build it up to 5000 RPM. Yes, you can keep the RPM here and then drop the clutch and away you go. Of course, you need good clutch so you, you will not destroy it or crack it. So as you can see, yes, to make good power at high RPM, you have to sacrifice low low end power. So as you can see, I really like the, this this power band. This is a performance engine now. The original engine was a you know a, a, a low end torque and power. It will start very very high on torque, but the RPM will, with the RPM increasing. The original engine was losing power and just don't look at it. It will lose power at 6000 RPM. That's the original engine. But using using this little snorkel beast here with its glorious boost. I love the shape of the turbocharger. It's awesome. Using this little snorkely beast, now we can have 350 horsepower instead of 115 horsepower. And the block itself is still the same. Well, we only changed the internals, high quality, high performance internals, forged. Let's let me see here why I'm using. I'm just using a forged steel crank, lightweight forged connecting rods, lightweight forged pistons. As you can see, we can rev up to 9,000 RPM, and the power can go up to 9,000 RPM to the max. And everything is in the green, everything is perfect. And the reliability, look at the reliability. I usually, usually I make 70, 70 points on the reliability and, and I call it perfectly good, perfectly normal. This one is 84 because the internals, the turbocharger and, and the fuel injection, everything is plus 10 quality, so everything is good. As you can see everything in the green. The exhaust is a little bit restricting. I will not go bigger because it will look ridiculous. And as you can see, the compressor is a little restricting. The turbine is perfectly restricting. The intercooler is not restricting. Everything is perfect. And the power, 350 horsepower from 1762 cc. I'm impressed. I'm really impressed. So this is Mr. Alvin Perry's personal request on the Snapchat which is the 7A 7A-GE Turbo D50 horsepower the variant is forged dual overhead camshaft EFI 
95 oc which is octane Let, let's see the internals because I, re I really think that you guys like to see the internals of this beast look at the turbo size dancing wow the dancing dance of power the power dance so this is the request then the 7AGE the 7AGE turbocharged personal request by Mr. Alvin Perry he added my snapchat and he requested this cool engine and I'm, re I'm really happy to see the end result 350 horsepower 230 pound feet of torque can you imagine this engine this engine is an I think they stuck it in a Corolla or what, what, what engine did they stuck it in tell me in the comment section can you imagine this engine being dropped or being turbocharged with these components in the same original car. The original engine has 115 horsepower, and then you can boost it and you know change everything in it, and stick it in the same car again. Can you imagine the difference in acceleration and top speed? I mean, the fuel economy, of course, the fuel economy will drop because you are pushing more fuel in now. But can you imagine the acceleration? Wow, if this, if, if, if this car was a, were a Toyota, Toyota, we call it the Corolla, it will be a drift missile using this beast. Wow. So I really hope you, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Mr. Alvin, if you liked the video, tell me in the Snapchat, tell me if you like this, uh, this request, if it's up to your specifications or not. Uh, if you guys liked the video, because I, I really enjoyed making it, if you liked it, of course, smash that like button. And if you are new to the channel, smash that subscribe button and become one of the family and one of the channel members. Because yes, I I look at you guys increasing every day on my channel as a cool subscribers and cool fans. And, and we are like a big happy family enjoying cars and engine and enjoying the piston dancing up and down and making huge power every day so again thank you so much guys for watching i will see you in another requested video soon and of course you can add my snapchat or you can t request engines in the comment section it's okay I, I always read the comments and i always reply to them and if i didn't reply that's because maybe i'm busy or something okay so thank you so much guys for watching i will see you in another video soon and Bye-bye.